Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my rods and the gear I use to um, fish with. So my first rod I'm going to show you guys is my musky pole. And these are two rods that I use quite a bit. And this one, it is an Abu Garcia. And it is a Revo's GRP C76. It's a seven foot seven, uh, or no, a seven foot medium heavy rod with a. Uh, it's rated for like one and a half ounce lures. And um, I've got the. It's the same. It's the same reel that I've got here. Same model. It goes with the rod. So it was a rod and reel combo. And I've got 100 pound um, Power Pro braid on it for muskies with a 60 pound, um, 60 pound wire leader on there. And then, yeah, and the grips are pretty nice on it. So, pretty nice reel. The rod is, it has good action. It, you can use it for, uh, well, I like to fish for bowfin a lot, so I use it for bowfin sometimes. And I also use it for musky fishing, which I'm trying to get into. So, um, they might, there might be a video sometime soon on them. But, uh, yeah, that's my musky setup. So, hold on. And then, let's, I'm going to show you guys my bluegill setup now. My bluegill setup is, I've got a little, like, one-aught, uh, one-aught hook right there. Perch hook. It's a, uh, long neck hook, as you can see there. And I've got a little ice fishing bobber right there. And about, well, yeah, and then, so, oops, let's talk about the um, reel we've got first. I've got, well, it's a President Fluger reel. It's pretty nice. It's um, President Fluger GR, and the drag, it's really nice, and uh, the drag's really good. The... It brings in quite a bit of line in each um, rotation. And yeah. So the rod, it's also a pretty nice rod. It's a Fish Eagle 50. It's a medium pole. Its length is 7 foot 6. And yeah, that's my bluegill setup. I'll give you guys, wait, actually though, I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up on the bluegill. Uh, Real there. It's pretty nice. So yeah. And now I'm going to show you guys some of the gear that I use. Alright. Well, let's first start off with the pliers. These pliers I use, I believe they're Rapala. And they work really good with um getting gut hook fish out if they're big. You got the long long neck right there, so then you don't have to get close to their teeth. Or anything in case like one tries to bite you so those those and now let's get into my plano boxes so this one i have here is musky and pike and um what's in this one is well, musky and pike stuff but i've got a walleye colored medusa on there it's pretty nice. Um, I've gotten one musky bite on it so far, but not enough for any videos or anything. Uh, as you can see, there's a big gash in the Medusa from fishing the other day. And then I've got the a crankbait right here for trolling or just casting it out with it. And then 
I have a jerk bait. Uh, decent normal size one, uh, kind of a smaller one, but that works for pike and boat or and uh, musky. Then I've got a little bigger one that's made more for muskies, but it definitely still works for muskies and also pike. It's a Rapala. It's one of the. It's a little older one, but it still works just as good. All right, so that is my pike and musky box. Next, we're going to move on to my uh, my um, bowfin, my bowfin flannel box, and this one I like quite a bit because I use them a lot. And what I have in this is my well for bowfin. I like to use um, this Berkeley um, Triline. It's well, it, it's Berkeley Triline, but it's uh, Berkeley Triline Extra Tough, thirty pound line for my leader. It's pretty nice line. I like it a lot. That's like what I mainly use because I don't know. That's just what I've been using for a long time, and it works pretty well. It's real strong. When you set the hook into those big fish, it um, absorbs it pretty well. And, um, yeah, usually it it never breaks unless you got, like, really big fish on. And then my main line on there, I use, well, these are on my spinning rods for both in. I use 20-pound Berkeley Triline Super Strong Extra Tough right there. It's a pretty nice line also same brand. Then I've got some of these J-hooks that I like to use sometimes. As you can tell, it's got some wear and tear on it from the bowfin's teeth and things like that. But then I also like to use these big uh, circle hooks. My personal favorite, Gamagatsu circle hook. It's like a, I don't know, maybe five aught, six aught. And I also like to use these little one ounce weights. Um, I believe they're called disc weights. And they sit on the bottom like this, keeping your bait there until a fish picks it up. And yeah, that's about what my bowfin playing a lot looks like. Now let's move on to my bass playing a lot. Yeah, that's right, guys, bass. I am getting in, trying to. Bass fishing, yeah, interesting. So, I've got, I'm not sure if this is for like bass and more why, but um, it's a little minnow, um, minnow crankbait. It's pretty cool. And then I've got one of my personal favorites, I love to use this blue and black jig with a crawfish on the back. Or like a, not real, but like a blue and black crawfish, uh, crawfish, um, like crawfish, uh, you know what I'm talking about guys, like the, uh, see I'm new to bass fishing, a uh, crawfish trailer, there we go, here's a jig, or a uh, spinner bait, for like trout, and bass, and well really anything will bite that. And then, um, I've got the bluegill swim bait that I use sometimes for bass and pike also, but mostly bass. My, one of my personal favorites, the, uh, the Rapalo Rap Trap, Rattle Trap, really good bait. I really like to use that. And, of course, Sankos. I'm not a big fan of Sankos, though. I don't use them too often. But, um, I don't know. And then a frog. I've, I have yet to catch a fish on the frog. I've had some blow-ups, but, uh, no fish yet. Um, so yeah, that's my bass box. Now let's move on to the very last box. And that would be just a bluegill box. And as you can tell, this box has been through a lot lately. From bluegill fishing and some of you guys are probably gonna be there 
You got a whole box for bluegill? Yeah, I like the bluegill fish a lot because they're so tasty. They taste so good. And well, obviously I have my hooks. The one type of hook I have is the one I already showed you guys. The uh, J-hook style long neck. Got different sizes of those. And then I also have a little bit different J-hook, but it's more for walleye. They're a little bit bigger. Right there. And then I have some jigs in here. Ice fishing jig for bluegill, of course. I have one of those handy. Um, a couple more ice fishing jigs. Like this one I like to use, put a little uh, piece of worm or whatever on the end of that. And that works really well. It's a little pink one that has a little spoon right there to attract them. Uh, ice fishing jigs, you know. There'll be some more videos more in depth with the ice fishing uh, once it gets to, uh, more towards winter time. And then from Bluegill, I use, uh, well, before they stop making it, Berkeley Vanish. I love that stuff. Uh, the Berkeley Vanish line, got 10 pound line for the leader, and then I use a six or eight pound line for the. Uh, for the main line and that works really well and I'll show you guys a couple more things here uh, but right here is what I like to use to grab the big fish when I want to weigh them I put this on it and then I put my scale on on right here and then we subtract the weight of this and yeah that works pretty well and um, I'll show you guys the weight here in a second I just clip this to the side of my bag like right there so that works pretty well. And in this this little pouch right here, I've got my steel leaders for musky fishing and bowfin fishing. And then I also have the trailers, a couple trailers. They are the Cabela's um, Fisherman Series Go To Sunfish uh, Swim Minnow as a trailer. And then uh, Alright, let's get these guys back in there. Get that up. Oh yeah, and then also guys, for smaller fish, I like to use these players also. So then they can get in there and get the littler hooks out. Right there. And the next, uh, one of the last things I'm going to show you guys is this last pouch. And this pouch is a pretty important one. Gotta have your bug spray when you're fishing that, or... Er, of course, don't get it on your hands because that's not good. But it, especially when you're fishing your nighttime, those bugs and mosquitoes can be brutal. So you gotta have some bug spray. And the next thing is this little tiny gearbox that I have. It has uh, spoons, beads, split shots, and swivels in there. And then the other side has like a couple, uh, little, like a crankbait, uh, crankbait like that. A little small crankbait, a little swim bait, and a couple hair jigs. But that's for like smaller fish. And here is my scale that I use. It is a tuna scale. And... It's an electric scale and it well it's pretty good I like it and it comes with a case that I also like quite a bit and so then I guess it doesn't get all that messed up and stuff while you're carrying it around in your backpack so and it's a little tightener thing that goes on it tighten it up so then it doesn't fall out then I have my bobbers that I like to use these ones can sometimes be defective but most of the time they work they are the Premier Balsa Spring Floats, and there they are, Bass Pro Shops brand. I like these bobbers quite a bit for bluegill fishing. And um, I've got a dry bag for my phone or camera gear, stuff like that, while I'm going out fishing. 
Hold on, guys. This, I got I rolled it up the wrong way. All right, there we go. And then you always have to bring your tape measure along with you. This one is not my normal tape measure because usually if I'm like fishing on a boat or on like a kayak, say, or maybe just my puppy's house on the dock, I'll be using um like a, a bump board, but this is my other thing. It's has centimeters and uh centimeters and inches, and it goes, I believe, all the way up to 60 inches. So I haven't hit the 60 inch mark yet. <laughs> the furthest I've gone is 43. But, um, yeah, and that's about all I've got in my bag for uh, fishing. Well, yeah, other than, well, I have a couple other utensils um, in there for fishing, but uh, I've got like my fishing knife or whatever fishing knife pliers like multi-tool for like fishing multi-tool like that or whatever but i mean other than that guys that's that's really about it and yeah we'll have a couple more videos like this or not like this but hopefully crossing our fingers we're gonna get some muskies or a musky or whatever sometime soon so that would be a cool video and once it gets to winter time hopefully we can get some ice fishing videos and uh yeah so yeah and here i'll show you guys right here it is a bowfin that i caught uh i think i, I caught it in maybe 2018 or 2017 it was um the state record but we um didn't uh we did turn it in because we didn't know the, how big the state record was at the time but here it is it's all mounted up on the wall it's a pretty big bowfin it, that was 30 inches and um it was like it was right there it was 14 pounds but yeah it was a really nice fish so that's going to conclude our video for today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.